Hey, good evening. Welcome back to the workshop. Tonight we've got a new product to try out. Um, I've been dealing with this thing for like, I don't know, two decades, and it sucks. Um, its ends fall off, never wants to stay put, mm, falls over, just, they're awful. Awful. So I figured it was time for an upgrade. I've been doing a lot of soldering lately, um, making keyboards, so I figure um, we could use a better tool. So this thing's going directly to the circle file. Um, what we have instead is this um, Mystery Stone brand from Amazon. This is the condition it arrived in. It was actually popped open already, and I think just from the weight of the uh, plate inside, it's pretty big, pretty heavy um, by the look of it. So let's just pop this open. You see, because uh, bags of individually, you know, wrapped hardware. There's two short arms and four longer ones, and it looks like they're pre-assembled. We've got screws, washers, and looks like heat shrink tubing. Heat shrink, I think, is for uh, protecting your work. You put it on the clips to uh, keep it from scratching things up. Then we got some nice heavy rubber feet, and then below that is a steel plate. And this is nice. It's um, it's heavy, man. Like. That's probably three pounds or so. Should be decent. I'll probably install it logo side down just so I don't have to look at that. And that's it. There's no instructions to go at all. So I think it's just supposed to be obvious how it goes together. We'll see if that's true or not. Um, but yeah, they don't even bother with, with instructions here. I'm just gonna open up the hardware and kind of lay that out. And we'll see where we stand as far as tools. Looks like probably just Phillips head screwdriver. Yeah, Phillips head. And that's it. I guess it's the uh, feet probably have, or no, but I guess the bottom of these are threaded. So we'll go up through the feet into these and that'll be it. So we can just take these out of the wrappers. So we need a, a screwdriver that fits these screws nicely. Let me see what we have here. I have my power screwdriver and what we want to do is find a nice, looks like it needs a pretty broad shouldered uh, bit to fit it well. Yeah, that looks good. And we'll just pop that in here. Um, if you don't have an electric screwdriver, buy one of these today. This is like my favorite tool ever. Okay, so I'm thinking the two short ones will go in the front, four long ones in the other positions. There's the assembled unit. It's, it's gigantic, it's quite an upgrade. Um, some things I've noticed as I'm sitting here, and I think this was mentioned in the ad, but there's actually a, a screw collar here on the end that locks these in position. So you can spin that around where you want it and then lock it down and it won't, won't take off on you. Well, I guess they still swivel. What does that do? Hmm. So there we go. Now it's not moving. Unless I really crank on it. Good. So everyone can be locked in position. 
The bottoms don't swivel, so you don't have to worry about things swinging out of the way on you. Everything's nice and heavy. And considering most of my boards I work on are this big, um, it's a bit overkill. Now the point of these, um, it gives you a whole bunch of these pieces of, it's heat shrink tubing is what it is. The idea is you put that over your alligator clips so that when you squeeze your board, you don't scratch it all up and damage your components. So that'll help keep things tidy and not all messed up. Um, really, that's about it. I mean, there's not a whole lot to it, but um, you know, I'm glad to see, I think it was worth the money. I'm, I'm happy with this. And um, so, you know, if you're looking for a tool like this, I think I would recommend this. Um, it looks well made. We'll see if, uh, you know, these, these collars are plastic. We'll see if those hold up over time. But everything else seems really sturdy. I mean, those feet aren't going anywhere. This plate is super heavy. And these arms are nice and stiff and they're metal. They're not plastic on the outside. They're coated with, you know, a plastic finish, but they, you know, they're metal inside and they're, they are very strong. They're good. But, um, you know, that's my concern right there is those plastic collars probably will not last in the really long run. But other than that, it's looking pretty decent. So yeah, I'm excited about that. That's cool. Well, thanks for uh, following along and I'll see you next time. But wait, there's more. I couldn't leave well enough alone, so I went and made a quick decal for my logo. It's just black Oracle vinyl. We'll lay that right down here. Can I get it centered up by eyeball? Pretty decent, I think. And then we'll just take our squeegee. And just make sure that's straight before I go. This end is slightly higher. I gotta reposition it. It's small difference, but it's gonna bother me. You know what we could do? We can use a ruler, get a smaller one, and we'll align that bottom edge right to the ruler. And um, that'll take care of that problem. There we go. Now we know it's straight. So just take that, squeegee that down. Peel off the transfer tape, but we should be good. There we go. Nice. Now that's proper. Now we're done. <laughs>